Girl, I can't lie. Never, ever, 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 ever would I have thought that I'd be doing a natural hair tutorial, but here we are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chi Chi, and today I'm gonna be doing a top knot tutorial. In one of my past videos, I uploaded it in like February, it was a wearing my natural hair to school for the first time video. I wore my natural hair to school and I wore it in this style. And a lot of the comments were talking about the tutorial on this look, which is so crazy because like, I'm just like not a natural hair expert at all. I should not be giving advice about natural hair to anybody ever. But you guys said that you wanted a natural hair tutorial from me, so here it is. Hopefully I'm doing everything right. If I'm doing something wrong, then just let me know and I'll probably change it. This is exactly how I got the look that I got in that video. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I will put that in the description box down below so you guys can watch. But yeah, this video is basically just going to be me teaching. Oh teaching teaching you guys how to get this look or how i got this look and this is no extension or anything this is all my hair but you can use extension if you want to and i do have 4c hair thick 4c hair so the fact that i put it in a bun of some sort is actually kind of mind-boggling you should follow me on instagram and twitter and snapchat at ggokive and let's get into the video so this is my hair freshly washed freshly stretched and I am ready to style it. So first things first, I just take a regular hair tie and I put my hair in a ponytail, nothing too tight. I just need to make sure that my hair isn't in my face when I'm working with the edge control. Then I take that edge control. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about that edge control. You can get it at your local beauty supply store. And I put some on my hand, I warm it up in the palm of my hand and I just put it on the perimeter of my hair all around wait why did i just stop like that so suddenly what the fuck anyway so i put on the perimeter of my hair and i use a hard bristle brush to slick it back i usually do this because my edges are really really thick and coarse and when i go straight in with the eco styler gel it doesn't get as slick as I want it to be. So I usually go in first with this edge control, I put it along the perimeter, then I go in with Eco Styler. Next, I use the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel and I put that on the perimeter of my hair right on top of where I just put that edge control and I slick my hair back one last time. I make sure to use a lot and actually it doesn't really bother me about um, my hair curling up. Since Eco Styler Gel is water based, your hair is going to curl up when you use it but it doesn't really matter for me in this case because I'm using only my hair I'm not using like an extension that may be a different hair texture so it doesn't really matter to me if my hair curls up but if you're looking for a more like sleek look or if you're using like a very straight hair piece you may not want to use this because your hair is going to curl up and your hair is going to look curly and then the hair piece is going to be straight and that's not going to be a cute look so after that I take a hair bobble wobble thing that's what I call it and I double it and then I make a really 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 tight ponytail with my hair like super duper tight I make sure that I give myself headaches basically a lot of people do this in sections but my hair has gotten to the point where I don't really need to do it in sections anymore which is really nice and convenient for me I just need to be really really strong and put all that hair in a ponytail then after that I'm going to tie the hair with a scarf and I'm gonna wait for about 10 like ish minutes
so since I have 4C hair, it's really easy for me to manipulate my hair to go in basically any direction that I want except for go down. But I usually use this time to shape my hair to be in that top knot shape, you know, skinny in the bottom, fatter in the middle, then skinny on top. really big on the whole edges thing I think it's over exaggerated and I feel like it kind of just takes away from the look so I still do edges but I don't go overboard with it um, I just take a little bit of edge control put it on the edges and just swoop my hair just a little teensy tiny bit but I don't do anything dramatic then after that I use a scarf and I tie down my edges <music> Okay, so this is my favorite part of the top knot process and that's making the little coils. Okay, so to do this, all you need is a little piece of your hair, then you're gonna wanna wet it. So make sure you wet your fingers, then you just like touch the hair so that the piece of hair can get wet as well. Then after that, you take some Eco Styler gel and you saturate your hair in that Eco Styler gel. Then after you just start twisting your hair, your hair is gonna come out having these little coils. I think they're so cute and they add so much like fun and like spunk to the whole hairstyle. I love it and I feel like you should do it too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope my top knot looked good. Remember, I am a beginner, so if something was like wrong in the video, just let me know and I'll probably change it. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.